the Lord. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord. The God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear. I shall not fear. The dark of night. Protect me from their wicked hands Beneath the shadow of his wings I will rejoice To find a dwelling place secure Blessed be the Lord Blessed be the Lord, Blessed be the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. Today we pray for the situation in Manipur to be cool, to be peaceful. We also pray that the children who have begun their schools, they may be safe and they may be protected by our Lord. We pray that the Lord may intervene in their lives and make the situation peaceful. Let us also pray for our own intentions during this Holy Mass. Ask our dear Lord to bless us. My dear friends, today we celebrate the memoria of Saint Maria Goretti, Virgin and Martyr. Let us take her example to be pure and to be for Christ even up to giving our lives for Him in martyrdom. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have sinned. With a contrite heart, let us confess together. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers my sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom, of your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth. Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. 
Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. Chapter 22, verses 1 to 19. The sacrifice of Isaac. God put Abraham to the test. Abraham, Abraham, he called. Here I am, he replied. Take your son, God said, your only child, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him as a burnt offering. On the mountain I will point out to you. Rising early next morning, Abraham saddled his ass and took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. He chopped wood for the burnt offering and started on his journey to the place God had pointed out to him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. Then Abraham said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there. We will worship and come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the, for the burnt offering, loaded it on Isaac and carried, his, and carried in his own hands the fire and the knife. Then the two of them set out together. Isaac spoke to his father, Abraham. Father, he said. Yes, my son, he replied. Look, he said. Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, My son, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering. Then the two of them went on together. When they arrived at the place God had pointed out to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he bound his son Isaac and put him on the altar on top of the wood. Abraham stretched out his hand and seized the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, he said. I am here, he replied. Do not raise your hand against the boy, the angel said. Do not harm him, for now I know you fear God. You have not refused me, your son, your only son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham called this place the Lord provides, and hence the saying today, On the mountain the Lord provides. The angel of the Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own self, it is the Lord who speaks, because you have done this, because you have not refused me your son, your only son. I will shower blessings on you. I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants shall gain possession of the gates of their enemies. All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants as a reward for your obedience. Abraham went back to his servants and together they set out for Beersheba. And he settled in Beersheba. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord, in the land of the living. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory, for the sake of your love and your truth. Left and heathen say, Where is their God? Response I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. But our God is in the heavens. He does whatever He wills. They are idle, are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Response I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. 
They have nostrils, but they cannot smell. Response. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Response. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. Jesus got in the boat, crossed the water, and came to his own town. Then some people appeared bringing him a paralytic stretched out on a bed. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, Courage, my child, your sins are forgiven. And at this, some scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Knowing what was in their minds, Jesus said, why do you have such wicked thoughts in your hearts? Now, which of these is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk? But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, Get up and pick up your bed and go off home. And the man got up and went home. A feeling of awe came over the crowd when they saw this, and they praised God for giving such power to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, when God gives, He gives us in abundance. He gives us in a mighty way. Therefore, people who ask God consistently and show it by their deeds, their good acts, they show to the whole humanity that they are blessed in abundance, that they are blessed in knowledge, that they are blessed in prosperity, that they are blessed with a lot of light and wisdom. We see in the life of Abraham, who thought nothing will happen in his life hence. But God made it possible for him, because of his hard work, because of his faith, and because he cooperated in the plans of God. But now, after God had blessed him with a son, he asked his son to bring him to Moriab where he should sacrifice. And then that sacrifice will be the actual sacrifice God will want from Abraham. Abraham willingly takes his son to the mount to offer. But the son himself asks, we have come for the sacrifice. Where is the lamb? 
where is the animal for the sacrifice? And Abraham says, God will provide. And it is true that God provided him before he could raise the sword to slaughter his own son. God provides him the sacrifice. Yes, my dear friends, God is all-powerful. He is the one who provides in spite of being sinful, in spite of being unfaithful, life in limitedness. God provides, God gives, God produces for us. In the Gospel reading of today, we see Jesus is being perplexed in the minds of the people, scribes and Pharisees, who see the good act but close their eyes, do not want to see the good that he does. And that is when a man, a paralytic, is brought before him and Jesus asks him to get up, says that your sins are forgiven, you are being healed. And the scribes and Pharisees see it as something done against the law, something done against God himself. Who can forgive sins? Only God can forgive sins. Yes. And the same authority the Lord is giving us today to you and to me to forgive one another, to forgive each other, and to live in peace. Let us introspect and look into our lives and see being the children of God do we forgive one another? Are we people who radiate peace in the world? Or are we people who brutalize others? Are we people who destroy? Or are we people who are unforgiving? Let us ask our dear Lord to inspire us, to inspire the whole world, that we all may live in peace and in harmony. Amen. All things are thine, O Lord. We offer thee what we receive from thy hands. All things are thine, O Lord. We offer thee what we receive from thy hands. Blessed Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very joyful and glorious day. Thank you, O oh Lord, your love is boundless. Thank you, your presence is our peace. Thank you, O oh Lord, for so much goodness. Thank you, your mercies never cease. Thank you, we heard your word this morning. Thank you, we ate the bread of life. Thank you for sending us your spirit. Thank you for giving us your peace. Your love is boundless. Thank you, your presence is our peace. Thank you, oh Lord, for so much goodness.